So recently on this channel, I've been using code and maths to analyze the synchronization levels of K-pop groups. And through this experiment, we've seen some insanely crazy, humanly impossible, ridiculously preposterous <laughs> synchronization levels. It's mind blowing. But do you know what else blows my mind? Yes, the choreography. I mean, just look at this art. Oh my God. Like, how do people think of this stuff? Like how? That is some true big brained material. But then that got me thinking, is it possible for computers to create K-pop choreography? To answer that question, I thought back to my own experience. Whenever I make my own choreography, I first think of distinct poses and moves which I want to incorporate in the routine. Let's call these poses the point poses because they usually capture the vibe or theme of the music. I'll then come up with the transition moves which help me transition between each point pose. So then I thought, hey, what if I get my computer to randomly select a couple of point poses out of a bunch of K-pop dance samples and then use an algorithm to create the transition moves. For example, let's say these three point poses have been selected with their 3D coordinates mapped out. Using those coordinates, the computer creates a transition move by creating either a linear or parabolic path for each limb. The computer then outputs the frames of the choreography, which I can then sift through like a video. Sounds pretty simple, right? Okay, so here's a quick demonstration. We grab this piece of art right here. Mm -hmm. And then we drag and drop that video into our app. Detected dance samples. Generating choreography. Yep, as you can see here, the app is breaking down that video into its constituent frames. Yep, and once the frames have been collected, the app then randomly selects 25 frames as the point poses and using those coordinates and then um, generates the transition moves and outputs them into um, this folder, which you will slowly see. Yep, as you can see, it's starting to uh, output. Yep, so I think it's pretty legit. Obviously, the more point poses that you have, the more difficult the choreography will be. Yeah. Process complete. Dance choreography generated. Yep, so the app then notifies me that the calculations have been completed. And as you can see here, um, the app produced a total of 170 frames. Let's just open up the first frame. Now I'm just gonna um, press the right hand key down so that it um, blazes through each um, frame. So ready, set, go. Uh -huh. oh. Watch it. Ooh. Oh, no, it's pretty legit. Oh, the footwork. <laughs> oh. oh, he did a kick. It did a kick. <laughs> Yo, let's watch it again. I like that bit because it looks like an actual dance move. Yeah, that bit, that bit. Wow. And this is just from one dance sample. And one sample itself can give rise to so many um, different combinations. Imagine having multiple dance samples together.
detected dance samples. Generating choreography. Uh, okay. Um, all right, some, some, some footwork. Oh, a twist. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, there's some shoulder movement. Oh, oh, do you see that leg slide? Oh, all right. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try and learn this dance. Um, there are two problems though. One, there's no music. And two, this dance looks boring. So I'm going to have to add in my own music. And I'm also going to have to add in my own style. Speaking of style, recently I held a poll and 2,700 of you guys voted. Thank you. And most of you voted for powerful hardcore, which thank you because I can't do any of the other styles, especially cute. Oh, I hate All right, I'll see you guys downstairs. Dance synchronization score is 11.97%. Oh Dance difficulty score is 71.74%. This result is 90.76% reliable. Cringe. So yeah, that's basically it. Here are some other examples which my computer generated. With this algorithm, we can produce more than a million different choreographies, so there's some potential. My next step is to write an algorithm that can match up the dance moves to the beat of a music track. And maybe I'll take some time to research into neural networks. Anyways, feel free to comment below any suggestions because I'm open to ideas. And yeah, subscribe and stay tuned for more.